Hey, Zane Griggs here. So do you know how, do you understand how sugar ages us? Okay, it's, it's through a process called uh, glycation that actually creates these things called AGEs. And yes, that's an acronym that spells um, age, but they're called advanced glycation endpoints. So AGE, but it, it, it really is, you know, funny how it creates the word age. I think they set it up that way. But anyway, uh, the sugar basically attaches to, um, it's our system, attaches to protein molecule, molecules, okay, and creates these AGEs. And this is, in sugar, I don't just mean, you know, candy, you know, cookies, sugar you put in your coffee, sugar that's in, you know, uh, low-fat foods, but, you know, breads, pastas, you know, any, uh, cereals, breakfast cereals, any kind of basically processed grain, okay, that's been broken down, you have the fiber taken out, it's formed into some sort of gushy mess, kind of glucosey, sticky thing. Um, that is going to you know easily break down into sugar in our bodies. So uh, any of those things are going to break down into sugar. They're going to they're going to attach to protein molecules and create AGEs, which actually age us. They create oxidative stress. So, and this is happening internally. One one external sign of this though uh, is actually like aging skin um, because sugar gets in the you know get kind of gums up the collagen in our skin. The collagen is what you know young people have that make their faces look nice and plump and firm and full. Right, and then as we age, this kind of drops like that. You know, gets flat. We we, can, we start seeing more bones. Um, so it starts gumming up that collagen, okay, and making it less elastic. And so we actually start showing wrinkles faster than normal. But basically, it it, it happens to all of us. It's just a matter of how fast it happens to us, <laughs> right? Uh, we're all getting them, but uh, it's it's creating age essentially throughout our our bodies. It's it's a uh, it's really, um, like I said, oxidative stress, inflammation, okay? And it's attacking our, the, the mitochondria in our cells. So it's our cellular energy. Remember the mighty mitochondria from high school biology? It's, it's a source of energy for that cell. Well, that's our, our whole body. That's, that's where we get our energy and our recovery and for our whole body, how we, we heal ourselves is that energy, okay? Uh, we, we, we turn over pretty much all of our cells except for maybe the bones, Bone cells will take a little bit longer, but most of our cells turn over within a period of two or three months. Okay, so we have all a new set of, of human cells. Okay, every two to three months, we're always generating new cells. Now, that process can get slows down. It's called aging, right? Um, and then what we put in our body certainly has an effect on the, the new cells we, pr we produce. Um, so we might be producing aging cells as we go, as things break down, but we, we speed that up with what we eat or slow that down for that matter, you know, depending on what you're eating. Uh, it has a huge effect on, like I said, the mitochondria, which is our cellular energy, and how, you know, how we um, deal with things like, uh, well, we, when, when we produce cells, okay, so we're, we're, our cells are always breaking down, right? They get damaged, we, we reproduce them to create new cells. And that, that's, a, that's our whole body, okay? So uh, it can affect basically, um, arterial plaques, okay, building up in our body. So we try to break those down. Those, those, start, those start building up, okay. Uh, vision, stamina, um, even things like, let me see, I had one more here was a good one. It's our, basically our overall energy, pardon me, stamina, memory. Ha! Funny, I couldn't remember it. And it's, I must, I need to watch it, I guess. Apparently I need to eat some more veggies. Uh, but it affects our memory as well. So any of those age-related, you know, plaques build up, not just in our heart, but in our brains, um, in our brains, in our brain. And those cells, brain cells, have to regenerate, okay? So uh, it's, a, again, stamina, memory, uh, arterial plaques, anything that we, you know, skin, aging, is uh, when we're generating these cells, they're, if they're coming stressed, they come out a little damaged and a little, with a little less energy and a little less ability to uh, keep up like they did before. So what can we do about this? Well, we have to reduce starches, reduce sugars, and um, eat more antioxidants, okay? So naturally occurring or supplement, but that's in, you know, fruit or, you know, a lot of times touch, touch the fiber, right? But veggies, full of antioxidants, um, lots of fiber in there for biome, which helps us as well. Uh, and omega-3 fatty acids, more omega-3s, less omega-6s. Grains are full of omega-6s, cause inflammation, omega-3s, uh, which are in like flaxseed, certain fish, right? Uh, even grass-fed beef, 
and uh, you know grass-fed game really obviously well games grass-fed uh, has more omega-3s in it than than other meats so go for more omega-3s I'd say supplement to reduce that inflammation and help your body to generate healthy new cells so if you know someone who would benefit from this who, who doesn't quite realize how their diet affects how quickly they age uh, please share with them tag their name in the comments if you have questions I'm happy to answer them uh, but tell, tell me what, what you've done, if you've done this, if you knew this and you've kind of already started down this path, what you've done to reduce the amount of starches and sugars you've eaten and what foods you've replaced them with to give your body a healthier source, okay, of these antioxidants and uh, anti-inflammatory foods. So uh, please comment below, share with the class, everyone would like to learn from you, and uh, tell us what you've done to make those changes. Talk to you later.